So today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about green screens. And so I'm sitting in a stool in the green screen studio, and I just want to give you some basic tips of, of how to set this up. I've got a real basic camcorder. It's a Canon Vixia. It's the HFR400, and we have similar cameras available at the information desk at the ITCC. We have a basic tripod that you can also borrow from the ITCC. We also have a lavalier microphone that I'm using, and this happens to be a wireless version, but there is a wired version that you can use with this, with this camera. So we can set you up with, with all three of the components that you need to kind of get good video. And the other part is the green screen. Now, I'm, I'm pointing to a green, a literal green screen. There's nothing up there that's showing in the background. But the purpose of a green screen is to actually take myself and put myself in a virtual environment or, or an environment that's, that's not necessarily artificial, but something that could be a picture or it could be a video that's, that's playing in the background behind me. And this is how they do the weather on the Weather Channel. They're actually um, looking at a monitor maybe that's, th that's this direction and then they're pointing with their finger and, and pointing to the swirling hurricane that's in the Gulf of Mexico or wherever it is, or they're pointing to the storm line, the storm front that's coming across uh, in, in the Midwest or whatever, and where the tornado warnings and watches are. So they're actually looking at a monitor this way, but they're pointing and it makes it look like they're actually pointing to the screen on the wall. So that's basically how green screen works. Things you want to keep in mind for, for the green screen are things like focus. Focus is really important, and, and by focus I mean not only the person's face or the thing that you're filming, but you also have to keep in mind that the screen behind me will be in focus or, or not. And, and by that I mean one of the things you'll notice very, very plainly and very dramatically is if you don't get the person in focus, usually the screen is very highly in focus. And so to look like, why is this unfocused per person on a background that looks really sharp? So you do have to make sure that you get very close and particular, you know, pay attention particularly to the focus of the person. Um, depending on what camera you use, the, the Canon Vixia that we're using actually has a little face identification square and it will, it will de it'll detect a face. It'll detect the kind of the pattern of eyes, nose, mouth. And so you'll be able to see that that square will follow my head no matter where, my, where I move. Are you noticing that cameraman? Ca or camera person, I should say? Camera woman, dare I say? Um, <laughs> but, that, but that's the nice thing about the Canon Vixie is that they, is they will keep focus on a face no matter where it is in the, in the frame. Um, so my face should stay uh, in, in sharp focus. Now, if you're using other cameras, you just want to make sure that you, if you're going to focus on anything, focus on the eyes. So if you have a camera like a, a higher end DSLR, those cameras actually will be able to, they'll let you zoom in to the face and actually kind of get that sharp focus. And you can really finely tune the focus ring to get a sharp focus on the eyes. Now, that, now you may move back and forth, but that will be just kind of a general rule that will give you sharp focus. Because usually people kind of center themselves you know, where they are in the frame and, and the eyes will stay basically in focus the whole time. And again, that focus piece is going to be very noticeable when you start using a green screen. One of the things that you can do with the video behind the, the screen or the stuff that's going to go up virtually behind me is that you can, if it's a picture, you can maybe blur that picture in Photoshop a little bit and that will give you the, the, uh, the impression that the thing that you're looking at is off in the distance. Um, so if you're at a beach or you're in a cityscape or something like that, if you just tweak that picture so that it's a little bit out of focus, it'll give you kind of that depth of field look. All right. So that's just a couple of things to keep in mind is that focus is going to be very noticeable. The most key property of, of green screen recording is just that, the green screen. The best you can do or the, 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 the more that you can get a green screen lit properly and evenly is going to make your, your job keying this later on easy. Okay, so make sure that you don't have real dark spots and real light spots or, or do the best that you can. So you need to have either a couple of lights or a, in our case we're using a studio. You need to make sure that that studio, those studio lights light the screen properly. Now I haven't even really got this, this studio tuned the way it, it really should be, but um, we're close enough and, and things like iMovie 
and Final Cut do a great job at compensating for poorly lit green screens. So, um, but you should at least start with a good, solid, close to perfect green screen and, you, and you'll be in good shape. Our next step is to take this footage and bring it into either iMovie or bring it into Final Cut to do the actual keying. And so in separate videos, we'll show you exactly how that procedure is done. So until you see me on the green screen in Final Cut, so long. Okay, hey, so this is supplemental video number one. One of the things I didn't mention is clothing that you wear when you're shooting on the green screen, okay? I purposely today selected a dark green shirt to wear. Um, this may or may not, depending on, the, on whether we use iMovie or Final Cut, this may present a challenge to certain editing programs. So Final Cut and, and uh, iMovie do a good job at this, but if you wear a green shirt that is the same color as the green background, you will be invisible, okay? You're, if, in this case, if I, if I had a brighter green shirt on, my chest would, would be whatever picture I put in the background. So you want to avoid green things that you wear uh, in front of a green screen when you're doing that kind of taping. So if you're telling people that you're going to do a filming, make sure that they wear stuff like black or, or you know, red clothing is, is, is best kind of against a green background. Gray is also terrific. Um, one of the things that will also happen is that green may reflect onto clothing. So certain things might, if you've got even reflective stuff or I've got glasses sometimes, um, that, can, that can play with the green screen stuff a little bit. You might see little green fringes here and there. So. But clothing is, is a key to uh, not looking goofy on camera uh, where you're invisible. Now, having said that, there are actually full green bodysuits that you can wear where you can do things like be in a green bodysuit and then be holding a tray of cookies and then the tray of cookies looks like it's floating in the air because your, your bodysuit person is holding that. So there's cool things that can be taken advantage of by wearing green. Most of the time you don't want to wear green when you're in front of the green screen.